G'day everyone, Lucas here and today I am taking a look at the JBL Quantum TWS True Wireless Gaming Earbuds. Now I have been given a free unit for review, however no agreements or promises have been made for favourable comments in this review. So let's get started. The JBL Quantum TWS earbuds are housed in a little matte black charging case, which kind of looks like a teeny tiny little footlocker with a glossy textile JBL logo on top that looks and feels premium. There's three little LEDs on the front of the charging case which light up when you open it to give you an idea on where the charge is at. It's also used as an indicator when it's actually charging to show where you're up to. The earbuds themselves have a simple yet familiar design with darkened chrome JBL logos on the outside face which doubles as a capacitive touch surface which is flat and easy to find with your fingertips. The charging case is a little bit bigger than some wireless earbuds that are on the market, however they do house something a little bit more than the others do. Beyond housing just the left and right earbud, there's a little sneaky shelf there where a USB dongle rests, which enables a feature that makes these stand out above the rest, and I'll mention more on that later. It's only recently that I've become a fan of silicon tipped earbuds. When used correctly, the seal that they create in your ear canal makes for a true form of audio delivery. Using the companion app, the audio choices really do stand out above other wireless earbuds that I've used, including the Apple ones. Customizing the equalizer settings is easy to do and very easy to test out while you're actually listening to sounds. And up until now, I've never really liked ANC or active noise cancellation. This is a feature that will use a number of the six microphones that are built in to listen for noise in your environment and reverse their sound signatures to cancel them out. Until now, almost every time I've used something with ANC, I've received a kind of wub sort of noise that's kind of uncomfortable. Some people know what I'm talking about. I don't know if it's a personal thing or maybe just the headphones, but these ones don't do that. Now I don't know exactly why these ones don't do that, I don't know if it's the silicon tip as opposed to over the year headphones or a new algorithm that's used, I don't know why, but it, it just it doesn't do it anymore. Well these ones don't do it, it's great, there's no wub 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 sound. Now the ANC works really well, sometimes it's a little too well. And by that I mean that if you're a fan of absolute silence, then you'll probably like the ANC on these. But for me, it's a little unnerving at times to have absolutely no noise at all. I do enjoy the noise cancellation when I'm doing noisy work, like mowing the lawns and, you know, uh, vacuuming. 
But when you're inside and it's quiet, it's probably not the greatest because it it's a strange feeling where there's just absolute silence. It does its job really well, but sometimes it's not suited, but you can turn it off easily. Now there's also a new mode that I've not seen before and it's called Ambient Aware. Now this will allow some noise and ambient sounds to be heard, which can make them a little bit more comfortable to use. It's also a bit of a safety feature when you might be out and about and need a little bit of awareness of your surroundings. There's also another mode called Talk Through, and this will pause all audio and turn on the earbuds microphones to allow you to hear and talk to people if needed. So if you're in the middle of doing something and listening to music, it'll basically pause your music and allow you to have a conversation with somebody that's right in front of you. Now you can activate this by using the app or even quicker and more conveniently by tapping the earbuds themselves using the capacitive touch. Now for the actual audio, listening to music, playing games with them, that sort of thing, watching movies even. They're bloody amazing. The TWS earbuds carry the same awesome signature sound of the JBL Quantum Range. The bass delivered by these really do produce subwoofer-like sounds that you'd expect to hear from a concert from massive drivers. The clarity and audio performance of these have blown away my daily driver earbuds. I normally use a set of uh, Apple AirPods or the KVS earbuds that I've uh, reviewed in the past. I know it's hard to convey this to try and make it sound like it's true. But this isn't an ad. I, I truly feel the way I'm saying. I, I, I really do wish I could say some bad things here because it's starting to sound like an ad. I get that, but it's not. I'm not paid to say these things. All right, let's have a look at the app here. So once you've connected on Bluetooth, you'll see this screen, just tap on the earbuds there, it'll take you into this. And it's a, it's a very simple interface, which is quite nice. It's just scrolling up and down with all the features that you can go through. But I like this because this app itself just gave me so much more understanding of the settings and how the features work for the JBL Quantum TWS. So anyway, all you do is you connect it up using Bluetooth like you normally would. Once you open the case, it'll um, prompt you and it'll go into pairing mode easy to do you've done it a million times i'm sure uh so you'll see the uh the batteries there so you got the left and right uh, i've got the left one in my ear at the moment uh, which is 95 percent the right one's still in the charging case which is at 100 and the charging case itself is 67 percent. so that's nice and easy to see you can even see it on the your your actual widgets so there you go i've got the headphone there that's uh, that's my headphones. That's the earbuds there uh, showing. So anyway, we'll go back to the app. All right, we'll go down. I think you see the first one underneath the batteries there is ambient sound control. Like I said, it is disabled at the moment because I'm screen recording, but you've got the choice of ANC, ambient aware, and you talk through, and you've got a customization setting there as well. So that's, um, that's how you change those. Then you've got your equalizer. You can flick through different presets. Or you can go, hang on, you go into, I like, I'll leave it on jazz. But then you can go into here and add your own customization. So you can customize the EQ if you want. Let's go back. Then we've got smart audio and game audio. Now what this is uh, in audio mode, it's just going to be normal Bluetooth connection. In game mode, it's kind of like an over, overdrive for the Bluetooth and it reduces the uh, latency and the lag. So that way um, lip syncing will be a little bit better and the syncing for gunfire and things like that. Uh, not quite as good as the dongle version, but better. Um, but we'll talk more about that a little bit later. Then we've got the gestures, so you can set up what you want to be for your left and right taps of the uh, capacitive touch on the outside of the ears. So if answer, hang up, Siri, mute, um, and you can also change the ambient sound controls from there as well, which is good. Uh, the side tone, so you can turn it on and off if you want side tone. That's just hearing your own voice um, uh, coming through uh, the microphone so that way you don't get that blocked off sound by the uh, the silicon ear tip sealing uh, with your um, your ear canal it makes it a lot easier to speak and it also stops you from shouting when you don't realize it you can set up siri and it'll be different for androids whatever that is i don't know uh, you can change the voice prompts that's so if you change ambient sound it'll actually say with a nice pleasant uh, voice 
uh, it'll say um, ambient sound mode or it'll say mute or you know connected to all, all those sort of things you can have that on or off whatever uh, you can switch from audio uh, sources so from Bluetooth or the dongle can't go into that check my best fit you put the the earbuds in and it'll do like a sound test to see if there's any audio leaking and whether or not you should probably try a different size of the ear tip that uh, comes in there a small medium and large uh, then you got find my earbuds if you click on that it will give you a warning that says do not try this with them in your ear this is for locating lost earbuds so if it's like stuck behind the couch you uh, click on that it'll make a really loud high pitched sound come out of them it will help you find them if you do them with your when they're in your ears it will hurt don't do that only idiots do that like someone I know anyway we won't name them moving on power saving you can set them for how long uh, it takes you know like um, you can have auto standby auto power off they will automatically power off and turn off when you put them back in the case then there's a dongle pairing which you won't have to do out of the box but if for some reason they become unpaired you can use that to then set it up and also there's some port down the bottom and some help but anyway that's all we got for the app let's go back Right, so the biggest feature that I noticed on the outside of the box is the part where it says 2.4 gigahertz. Now this is a wireless dongle that's included with the TWS. Now this allows you to use the dongle instead of Bluetooth to connect to gaming devices like a Nintendo Switch, PC, PlayStation 4 and 5. And this allows the earbuds to use the lossless wireless feature, which will eliminate all lag that's associated with a Bluetooth connection. It also makes it really easy to pair up. You just plug the dongle into the USB, use on your PC or whatever you want, and away you go. HMI Module Alpha Humana on approach to Space Station Mercury. HMI Module Alpha Humana on approach to Space Station Mercury. HMI Module Alpha Humana on approach to Space Station Mercury. JBL Quantum TWS. What, what does TWS stand for? Hey, I looked it up. It stands for True Wireless Stereo. You're welcome. The Bluetooth version used is 5.2. The charging case has a 340 milliamp hour battery in it. Together, the JBL Quantum TWS gaming earbuds have six microphones, all for hearing you and blocking out noise. The JBL Quantum range is really gathering momentum in the gaming headset space. The JBL Quantum TWS continues this forward momentum with amazing quality products. The amount of features packed into these things really does make the Apple AirPods seem foolish. They're priced similarly to the, I think they're the cheapest Apple AirPods you can buy, but those Gen 2 ones, but they've got features that are more on par with the AirPod Pros. I've had a really good time testing these out. I actually tested them out at the PAX convention, made some phone calls uh, inside the convention center, uh, and people that I was speaking to said, it sounded like I was in a convention center. Well, they sounded like I was in a big crowd, but they could hear me very clearly. So that was real, that's, that's, that's a positive. I didn't have to shout, I just spoke normally through them as well. Now for those of you who watch my reviews, you'll see that I usually have a bit of a trend of finding a few things to complain about or a few things that just aren't great. I like throwing those in there just to show you that I'm not all about the great things. I like to point out the poor things as well. I've found that really hard to do this time around, so there's, I don't really have anything to complain about. Now, I'm sure they're not perfect. I'm sure some people will probably find something that they can complain about, but for what I use them for and what I've tested them for, they work fine. They work great. They sound amazing and they, they're convenient to use. They're easy. They're comfortable. They don't fall out of my ear. Uh, I, uh, what do I do? I can't, I can't complain. Well, I guess that's all I've got time for. Thank you very much for checking out this video. If you've made it this far along, you must have liked it. So don't forget to press the like button. 
I don't mind if you press the dislike button either, that's what it's there for. Also, if you did like it, then also subscribe and check out some of the other videos that we've got. If you want to see more from me and the AGXP, absolutely press the subscribe button. There's a join button there too. Totally up to you. But thanks again, and as always, I am Lucas, and until next time, I will see ya!